Hey everyone, Ryan from Disney Pins Blog. I came over to Magic Kingdom for a few hours this afternoon just to get some work done, and I picked up the new Disney Villains Lairs Mystery Pin Set. I want to show you guys a closer look at this and uh, give you a little details on it in case you missed the blog post. Here's my afternoon work spot. Chilling here at Cosmic Rays. Got a nice little view of Fantasyland and the Mad Tea Party. So this is a pretty big pin set. Five pins included for Halloween 2020. One thing I know a lot of people like are whenever dates are not on the pins. So you can see here below it just says Happy Halloween and there's no date for 2020. So yeah, I know some people do prefer that. Um, up top here it reads Disney Villains Lairs. I know that's kind of hard to read, but uh, yeah, it's Lairs. And this is limited edition of 1500 but only one pin inside is LA 1500 and that's Ursula I'll explain that in a second um, official pin trading logo retail price is $109 for this five pin limited edition set look at that purple background with the thorns very cool I love the uh, purple in the front here and the lime green for the logo then take this off and inside you have a lot of lime green color with the thorns again. For these pins, the Jafar, Maleficent, Hades, and Dr. Facilier are a limited edition of 5,500 because they are gonna be sold individually as well. The only one that is LE 1500 in this box set is Ursula. So she is the completer pin for the Disney Villains Lairs collection. So she can only be acquired if you purchase this five pin set. So here's a closer look at Jafar. All the characters are pin on pin designs with the Happy Halloween banner at the bottom. And you can see here in the background this uh, little border on here has like a marbleized fill in it. So it has a uh, slight glitter to it. But very cool. Over here is the Maleficent one. Probably my favorite one from this collection. I love the green colors and the blue in the background. Diablo is featured there as well. Here's another fan favorite, Hades. Looking spooky there. Pin on pin, all of these have the marbleized fill. And then our last one down here, Dr. Facilier from Princess and the Frog. I like the green border they used on this one. That looks very nice. But yeah, all these have beautiful colors on them. Gorgeous looking pins, nice size too, they're, they're pretty large. And um, yeah, so the set is LE1500, individual pins should be out soon. I don't know when they're gonna be released, I thought they would be already, but it's probably just gonna be another surprise release here at the parks. And um, I purchased this one here at Magic Kingdom, but it can be found at all four parks. I did see it at Animal Kingdom yesterday, and I saw it at Disney Springs a day ago. Um, I think it was like two days ago I saw it down at Disney Springs. I'm just going to pop off Ursula real quick so you can see the back. But um, I'll show you one of the other ones as well. Let's take a look at uh, Dr. Facilier here. There you can see on that one, limited edition 5500. And then our completer here, Ursula. There we have the Ursula pin, gold tone finish. And there it is. And then one more pin I want to show you guys is the surprise release for Big Thunder Mountain, 40th anniversary. It's such an awesome pin. Let me show you a closer look. I love the backer card in this pin. It's like a piece of wood with jagged edges on it. Official pin trading logo, 2020 Big Thunder Mountain Railroad, limited edition 40th anniversary pin. Featuring Mickey Mouse here as a pin on pin design in the attraction vehicle. Reads Big Thunder Mountain Railroad in the background. You have the little uh, dinosaur bones there and established 1980 at the bottom. Absolutely love this pin. It's slim edition of 2500, retail price 17.99. I only found this one here at Magic Kingdom. So not sure if it's gonna make its way to Disney Springs or not, but they have a ton of them here at Magic. And here's a look at the back at the edition size. All right, just finishing up work here, and I think I'm gonna order dinner now at uh, Cosmic Ray's Starlight Cafe. I'm gonna get myself a little burger. Mmm, look at those delicious treats. There's the Halloween exclusives. Got that Jack Skellington sipper cup. 
and the Mickey Monster Mash Burger. I think that's what I'm gonna go for. Monster cheese, potato barrels, bacon, and sriracha. Let's go. And look, it's stamped with Mickey on it. Also, I don't know if I mentioned it, but these new Halloween masks are much better than the originals. It's a different material and it's more breathable. And they're also limited release. This one and the purple one, it says boo on it. I like them better than the other uh, Disney masks. So I hope all the new Disney masks coming out have this new material. Hopefully it's not just for the limited release ones. Oh yeah, flip that burger. Now look at this Mickey burger with the amazing fries. It's so cool how they stamp it in. It says it has the potato uh, little barrels on it. They're in there somewhere, but yeah, that looks delicious. Time to dig in. That burger was delicious, but uh, park closes here in a half hour, so I'm gonna go over and try to ride Big Thunder Mountain Railroad real quick. Passing by the cows right now, making my way towards the hub. Crowds are thinning out with just about 30 minutes left until closure. Well, Magic Kingdom is officially closed. It's 6 p.m. I decided to ride Haunted Mansion instead because uh, I went over to Big Thunder and it was a 30 minute wait. And uh, Mansion was a walk-on. Yeah. <laughs>